Where's your escort? Excuse me? Where's your escort? What do you mean? You are only supposed to be here on official business with a an escort. I said, where is your escort? Because per the court order, you are required to be escorted by law enforcement. An escort? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm pretty sure prostitution is illegal in New Mexico. I don't know if you're trying to solicit me right now. I don't know if you're trying to solicit me, but I don't appreciate it. Matter of fact, I think I'll head to the sheriff's department right now and let them know you're trying to solicit me. Is that what you're doing? No, sir. I said. Are you trying to be my escort? I said, where is your escort? Because per the court order, you are required to be escorted by law enforcement. So you're trying to be my escort? No, sir. How long have you been in the escort business? So in late January 2023, I was at the Torrance County Sheriff's Department, which shares a building with the 7th Judicial District Court. And while I was there, I kind of accidentally ran into this clown, Gordon Bennett, who was a hearing officer there. I realized quickly he needed to be exposed for the unqualified public servant that he was. I ran a couple of stories on him over the next few weeks. My audience did reach out and let the 7th Judicial District Court know that Gordon Bennett was ridiculous, out of control, and needed to be removed. As a result of you guys exercising your right to redress grievance with your government, uh, the 7th Judicial District Court under CEO Jason Jones and Chief Judge Mercedes Murphy ordered that I not be allowed in any of the courthouses anymore because I had exposed incompetent public employees. This was a clear, blatant retaliation for me quite literally running press stories that didn't favor them. And they quite literally directly retaliated against me for it, saying essentially, no more stories. You cannot cover the 7th Judicial District Court anymore in your news stories. Over the last few months, we've fought back and forth on it. Local law enforcement has decided that these orders are completely unlawful and has refused to enforce them. And I am working on getting litigation filed against the 7th Judicial District Court for First Amendment retaliation. So I've continued to try to cover as much as I could with the 7th Judicial District anyways, while they're constantly kicking me out of court hearings, both um, on Zoom and in person, um, and completely retaliating against me and, and refusing to allow me to document what's going on in their courtrooms and their courthouse. New Mexico Supreme Court rules say that you can uh, record court hearings and that the only thing you need to do is notify them, not even ask them, but notify them 24 hours ahead of time that you will be recording. So I put in that notice. Um, they denied my right to record. Uh, referring back to the original court order saying that I can't come to the courthouse at all because I've published uh, news stories about them that are unfavorable to them. So this is me going back to the courthouse to try to get that court order from them that it excluded me from the hearing as a retaliation of me exercising my First Amendment rights to free press and publishing stories that the government doesn't like. Hey, can I get a pen, please? I'll come back when you're ready. Okay, thank you. Okay. How can I help you? Just got an IPA request here. And uh, uh, somebody had a piece of paper yesterday saying something about excluding me from the court hearing. Do you guys have that here? They didn't serve you a copy of it? No. They said there was something for me to be served, but nobody served me. Where's your escort? Excuse me? Where's your escort? What do you mean? You are only supposed to be here on official business with a an escort. Can you talk into the microphone? I can't hear you. If you'll turn your camera off, I'll talk into the microphone. All right, I need to turn the camera off to talk into the microphone. You saying I need an escort? That's what the court order says. Well, I'm married and my wife does not allow me to uh, by prostitutes, so I I can't just have S. I mean, isn't prostitution illegal out here in New Mexico, anyways? Police security. An escort? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm pretty sure prostitution is illegal in New Mexico. I don't know if you're trying to solicit me right now. I don't know if you're trying to solicit me, but I don't appreciate it. Matter of fact, I think I'll head to the sheriff's department right now and let them know you're trying to solicit me. Is that what you're doing? No, sir. I said. I'm Are you trying to be my escort? I said, where is your escort? Because per the court order, you are required to be escorted by law enforcement. So you're trying to be my escort? No, sir. How long have you been in the escort business?
All right, and this is uh, a court order, or? It's an order. It's an order? Mm -hmm. Order excluding presence. And now, this matter having come before the court, I don't know what that, swa sponte, I don't know what that is. I think it has something to do with the hooker that they're trying to have me uh, walk around the courthouse with me and escort. Uh, court having received an email from James Springer, a.k.a. James Freeman, that he intended to attend the above captioned matter with the intent to record the proceeding. Mr. Springer, having previously been banned from entering the courthouse without a le legitimate relevant business, is hereby ordered that James Springer, a.k.a. James Freeman, remains banned from Torrance County Courthouse by prior order and is specifically banned from attending the above captioned matter uh, as per Judge Mercedes Murphy. Uh, signed by the Honorable, the Dishonorable Shannon Murdoch, submitted by Joseph E. Campbell, the new hearing officer. So, by the way, guys, uh, Gordon Bennett quit. Gordon Bennett did resign about a week, week and a half ago. Um, and we have a new hearing officer now. Uh, the Supreme Court rules in New Mexico say that um, cameras can not be excluded from the courtroom unless uh, there are some very, very specific terms under which they may be excluded. And even under those terms, they are not to be completely excluded. Those terms include if we have a child victim who may be testifying in that particular case during the testimony of the child victim, the cameras are not allowed in the courtroom, but it is not a blanket statement. Uh, it is not a blanket deal where if there is a child involved in a court case that there are no cameras allowed. Um, in that case, the cameras would be allowed all the way up until the child witness comes to testify, at which time cameras would be removed. None of those um, exemptions existed in the hearing yesterday that I requested to record. None of them. Commentary and reporting on, criminal, on the criminal justice system is at the core of First Amendment values. Secrecy of judicial action can only breed ignorance and distrust of courts and suspicion concerning the competence and impartiality of judges. Free and robust reporting, criticism, and debate can contribute to public understanding of the rule of law and to, comp and, and to comprehension of the functioning of the entire criminal justice system by subjecting it to the cleansing effects of exposure and public accountability. Furthermore, when an order banning coverage constitutes a prior restraint, it attenuates the basic constitutional rights of the media to publish. But they... What's up, man? How are you? I can't even get in. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Just doing a live broadcast. No worries. So they... what's going on today? You just hanging out? Or... Yeah, I came up to get the order that they... Uh, the deputies had tried to serve this to me yesterday, okay. but I don't want them to because I got to sue anybody who serves me. Okay. So I just got that dumb broad to serve it to me. Okay. She's already on the lawsuit. Okay. So, and uh, yeah, just doing a live broadcast update at the courthouse. So you, were you just getting a copy of that, or were you getting the original one of it, or? Uh, yeah, I got the copy, and then I was doing an IPA request, and okay. then uh, and then just doing a live broadcast update nice. of what's okay. going on at the courthouse okay. and you what. Got everything you need for the most part. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did they call you out? Yeah. I'm. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll be right back, but you're, you're... All the police, the sheriff, everybody are, are sick and tired of this bitch calling the cops on me. They're shorthanded at this point, and there are actual crimes that are committed with victims out in this county. And so for Susan and the court staff here to continually waste police resources and sheriff's department's resources on this is, is gotten to an absolutely ridiculous point. Um, there was one day that there was a domestic violence call in the area when I was up here and there were only two deputies and one of them was asked to come up here to escort me and the other one went to a DV call by himself and for those of you who don't know a DV call is about the most dangerous call you can show up on usually if a officer or a deputy is gets hurt it's usually on a call like that and the deputy was sent alone to that call so that another one could come up here and stand next to me here's how i see it i started going after cops because they're the muscle of the actual crooks between judges legislators politicians who make all these arbitrary rules to control you and i no politician and no judge is ever going to lay a finger on you or me they're not going to do it they use the police to do it 
And it became pretty clear here yesterday that these politicians and these judges talk about they back the, how they back the blue and this and that, right? And I pointed out to the hearing officer yesterday when he was trying to get two deputies to arrest me, and they were telling him, no, what he's doing isn't illegal. We can't just arrest him. And he continued to try to pressure them. And I, I told him, I said, you, you back the blue? Yeah, of course I back the blue. Then why don't you act like it? Why don't, why don't you stop saying it and act like it? If you backed the blue, why would you put them into a situation where you try to pressure and push them to do something that every single one of us knows is illegal? And you know damn well that if they do what you're telling them to do, that they're going to get sued. They might lose their job over it. Who knows? At the very least, they're going to get sued. And they're going to have to go through hell over the next few years going through this lawsuit. And, and the person who gave the orders gets off, right? If you really back to the blue, you wouldn't be asking them to do things that you know are wrong, knowing damn well that you could be destroying their lives by doing it. You, if you back the blue, then act like it. Stop putting them in dirty situations. And I asked the hearing officer, well, if I don't leave, what are you going to do? Are you going to remove me? And he looks over at the deputies because we already know how it goes. No, no politician is going to confiscate your guns or take away your any right that you, 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 you think you should have. There is no politician that is going to take that away from you. Not one. They always look to the blue line and say, you do it. I'm telling you to do it. That's why I went after cops. Without, without police to enforce the will of evil people, they'd be completely and totally powerless. Totally powerless. And, and we witnessed that just now. You, you saw how mad Susan was that I was in there. You saw that, right? I mean, she's very passive aggressive, but she's absolutely furious that I was in there without a prostitute or an escort as she calls it. And she wanted me out and she called the police. And all the police did is come and ask if I needed anything and then walked away. She's powerless. Why? Because if the police won't do their dirty work for them, then they have nothing. And guys, don't forget to check out the merch store on the way out. We got that back the blue till it happens to you, tank top versus wife beater, and a handful of other designs in the merch store. Go check them out.